What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here. First I would like to say if you're here uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, next, today's video I'm going to show you how to kind of create and edit a mobile website here in Wix. So this is a little bit more challenging, a little bit harder to understand. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys to bear with me. I think I've decided that I'm going to kind of break the mobile site creation into a couple segments, uh, different methods to show you guys um, because as I mentioned, it is a bit more confusing and a little less customizable, which would be one of the only downsides to Wix. However, you can still make it look the way you want. All right, guys, before we hop into that, if you have not gone to wixmywebsite.com, go check it out. Link in the description below and get on the uh, email list to get my weekly Wix tips. Uh, chances are pretty good. My first weekly Wix tip is going to go out today in an email. And guys, I've got a ton of tips that you guys are not going to want to miss. Um, they're really great. Uh, different hidden features in Wix are some of them that I'm going to show you that I bet you guys had no clue about that could really make a big difference in your website. But if you're learning to learn, if you're interested in learning more about Wix, uh, how to build a website from start to finish, building your first website, finishing your current one, whatever situation you may be, come sign up on this email list, wixmywebsite.com. All right, guys, so we're here on the homepage of my site. Now, to switch into the mobile editor, uh, you have to go up here to this little phone icon. You'll click that, and then you'll click Edit Mobile View. First things first, when you do go up here, you'll see right here, make your site mobile friendly. So this will automatically kind of make it a mobile view to, to begin with. From there, you're going to have to edit it. So I, in today's day and age, I would make sure this button is checked on. Once you're in here, you'll see the content. You'll see it switched a little bit from my homepage on the desktop view. These are in kind of like an arc order, which I kind of think is cool, actually. Uh, some people may not like that. Some people might like it symmetrical, which you could absolutely do. Um, you would just simply take it and drag it like you would in the normal editor. Uh, this down here, the one thing about the text here in the mobile editor is you can't edit the text. However, you can change the font size, the color, and the alignment of the text. Now this tends to be a pain sometimes, um, but you could see right here, you could kind of make it look the way you want. Uh, if I had my choice, obviously I'd have email in the middle, location in the middle, and then phone in the middle. Um, but based off of the text size and how it looks on the homepage on the desktop view, which is how I want it to look, um, this is kind of the, the best I could get out of mobile. Now guys, you're gonna see a couple things. Over here on the left, you're gonna see background. So you, just like your desktop version, could choose the color or image of the background here on your mobile view. You will notice, however, though, you're not allowed to have a video background on your mobile pages. Now, yes, Wix has to do some updating to the mobile editor. Um, it's personally not up to my standards quite yet, um, but it's getting there, and it's getting better, and it's a lot more advanced than it was, uh, and Wix has really made improvements. But you choose your background color or image, and it'll be your normal background on here. Next in here, you'll see mobile. So right here, you'll see mobile view. So in mobile view, you see two, two things here. You see desktop view or mobile friendly view. So what this means is you could either have your desktop website pop up on someone's mobile phone and that means that people are going to usually have to like pinch and zoom or scroll through a whole bunch. Uh, you've probably been like that on some of the websites you visited on your phone where it's not mobile friendly and you kind of have to scroll from one side all the way over to the other side uh, or pinch and zoom into certain things because you can't see them or read them. So here Wix gives you the option to make it the mobile friendly view which turns it into a mobile fitted responsive site here in Wix instead of the desktop view. So personally, I don't want to come off mean in this aspect, but I, I think you were probably crazy if you went with the desktop view in today's 
day and age. I think it's like 60% of searches now are made on a mobile phone instead of a desktop. So everybody's using mobile. So it, it's, you, you got to hop on that um, because it's just going to make your website better, uh, easier to navigate for visitors, and just overall a better feel. Um, so definitely make sure this is checked on. Next, you see the back to top button. This is very useful because uh, if people are on your mobile site, usually instead of going uh, width wise as, as a desktop site would be, it'd be like farther width wise. Uh, your mobile site is kind of shrunk down to the size of a phone, so it goes up and down quite a bit. So you do a lot of scrolling up and down. So this back to top button allows your users to just click it and it'll bring them back up to the top of the page. You just have to make sure that's checked on and you can see right here when this video animation pops back up, the back to top button will be right here on the side of your website. And then next here we have our mobile action bar. So the mobile action bar, this is completely your choice. Um, you may like this, you may not. So what this does is pretty much it pops up here. I'll show you. If we click it on, this little control center down here pops up. And from that, you could choose your color scheme, whether it's light or dark. And then you could choose what you want displayed on it. So pretty much it's a mobile action bar for people to either con to contact you primarily. So you can have on that action bar your phone number, your email, your address, and your social networks. Uh, if this is appealing to you and you want that bar, go ahead and add it. For some of you, it may be necessary for like if you're a small business and you need people to contact you or call you, this might be a necessary step. Um, in my aspect, since all my stuff is kind of online uh, and I run all my stuff online, this isn't as necessary for me and it takes up some space that I don't personally think is needed to take up. Um, so I'm going to check it off. However, if you want the ability to have people contact you on a whim, easy to find your contact information, definitely check this on. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for mobile view. And then our hidden elements view. So if we're on a certain page, and here, I'll show you. I just put together a random blog for you guys. So in our hidden elements, uh, what's a page I could have some hidden elements on? Um, all right, let me go add a hidden element for you guys. And I'll show you what that means. I'll go to new page. I'll go button add a button okay so now if we go back to our editor right here oh and by the way to flip through pages you would do the same thing as you would on you know a desktop when you're editing on desktop you just go to page and then it'll pop that page up in mobile say I delete that button from here now under hidden elements the button is still on the desktop version but you deleted it from your mobile version if you want it to reappear or say something or say you see something on your desktop version but it's not on your mobile version but you want it to be there most likely it's under hidden elements and you would just click this show element button and it'll pop back up onto your screen now if you don't like the layout you can auto refresh your page and it'll just pretty much go back to the layout you had it on your desktop version and you could rearrange it from there so this is a this is a pretty good tool right here refresh layout um, but notice if you refresh it and then you still don't like how it looks you can hit that undo button and it'll go back to how it was now guys I know this is a lot of information to throw at you like I said I'm gonna break this mobile website uh, creation into different segments to help you guys out um, but I just wanted to at least give you guys an intro to this so you could understand working with the mobile editor here on Wix as it has been more imminent than ever lately as I've had tons and tons of questions about it. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know any changes you make in your mobile website in the mobile view will not be affecting your desktop version. So I want you guys to know that. So you can mess around with your mobile view, move stuff around and it will not mess up your desktop view at all. You could go back to my homepage and see that these aren't in an arc like they were on the mobile site and that these uh, arrows are bigger, everything's bigger. This is set up the way I want it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that mobile version does not affect your desktop version. Those are two separate entities. 
Um, so create the mobile site how you want it to look. As I said, I will break that into segments. If this video helped you guys out at all, please leave a like down below. Comment if you have any questions, and I know I'll probably get a lot of questions on this video um, and how to add certain apps. I'm letting you guys know that I'm also going to start like a mobile segment. Um, showing you how to add certain apps into your mobile site, uh, how to add elements into your mobile site, how to do all of that. Um, just bear with me as I'm trying to get this out of, like out um, to you guys because, like I said, this question has been rampant lately. So I want to make sure you guys are educated and know how to do that. And I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to definitely help if you go subscribe to Weekly Wix Tips as I'll probably push out some information you might want to see uh, even regarding mobile stuff in that email list. So wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. And uh, I'm really here to help you guys out and give you as much information possible. I love uh, a lot of other stuff cooking up and brewing. Um, and I'll announce it to you guys as soon as it's done. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like coffee. Um, but anyway, yeah, I will announce that to you guys as soon as it's done and ready to launch. Uh, and when it is, like I said, you'll be the first to know. Well, actually, maybe the email list will be the first to know. So go hop on that. And guys, subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert because I'm going to keep providing you guys excellent Wix content and answer all the questions you have. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.